Now I think originally this would have been a solid boss. It would be an incredibly devastating weapon, would cause a lot of damage. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the double melon hammers we have for sale at Enzo. I'm gonna be talking all about the different types of melon hammers you can get, why you'd wanna use these, why you'd wanna train with them, and at the end, I'll put together a short montage of people doing demos with melon hammers. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the double melon hammers we have for sale at Enzo. So these are the double melon hammers. Now, obviously you could have single melon hammers, just one on its own, but I've never seen it in martial arts, in Kung Fu at least, I've only ever seen them being used as a pair. So they always come as a pair from us at Enzo Martial Arts, but nearly always in demos, well, as far as I've seen, they only come as pairs anyway. Now, you do get different types of melon hammers. Over the years, we've had a whole different array of different ones, and you think for such a rare weapon, there wouldn't be that much variation. But there does seem to be quite a lot. I'm gonna put one down, because then I can uh, actually use one of my other hands to, to show you. So, like this one here, it's got like diff different flat sides, but it does kind of make a ball at the top. Now I think originally this would have been a solid ball, so if you can imagine like a cannonball style um, yeah, weight on the end and then attached to a stick, it will be an incredibly devastating weapon. Like if you actually made contact with someone it uh, would cause a lot of damage, which I guess was the point. Now. I've been through some of the old sort of Chinese museums where the Chinese Kung Fu museums where you see a lot of the weapons and you do get solid brass ones. Now they tend to be a lot, lot smaller. They're uh, maybe the size of a tennis ball, something like that. I think if you got this solid brass, it would just be so heavy. It would just be unusable, you know, you could barely pick it up. So yeah, maybe a cannonball on the end of this, it would be, you'd have to be an incredibly strong guy. So I assume within the the kind of fighting party the army or or like as a protection group or whatever then it will be the strongest guy that would use like these melon hammers nowadays these are hollow they're still pretty hard i mean you won't want to get clocked with something like this but they are hollow which means you can actually swing them around now it's still fairly heavy so if you're doing a full swing you know you still it, it, it's not it's not totally light but yeah the the steel post that you get, the steel stick on this is hollow and the end is hollow. So you can actually train with this and do forms of that with this without popping your shoulders out or smashing your knee to bits or whatever. So this one here, it has like a brass fitting between the head and the stick, which is really nice, makes it look really nice. And yeah, it's got a full metal um, stick attached to the melon hammer on the end, which is eight sides across the top with a with a top fitting all like welded together now they're not always like this sometimes you get sort of like a hexagonal shaped head with a wooden handle that's usually painted maroon sometimes you get sort of like ribbed effects going in that are yeah that i guess look like a hot air balloon a bit um, with a wooden handle they do vary so Keep an eye out on the website because we will change the pictures if the melon hammer's changed. This is these are the ones that we've been able to get for the last like couple of years, maybe three years or so. This is the style that we get. Um, but like I said, it might change over time, and obviously the prices will change accordingly. But I personally think these are the nicest melon hammers we've ever had at Enzo Martial Arts. So they're a really, really good one to train with. Really nice and solid. There's no reason why you'd ever need to get another pair with these. They're, they're really, really nice quality, really well built. So like I said, who would use these? Like what, what stars would use these? Well, you do see them being used a lot <clears throat> in like Shaolin Kung Fu. You do see demos of that. Um, but yeah, within traditional martial arts, they will pop up here, there and everywhere. But like I said, it's quite a rare weapon. So it will take quite a while for people to get onto it. There won't be that many people, say in, a, say in the UK here, there's not that many people that know how to use metal hammers. So finding a teacher 
that knows the forms and the training techniques with them and then training yourself to be able to get onto that form it's going to take you a while so yeah very rare weapon but a really good one when you get onto it back in the day who would use these like there does seem to be a difference in chinese weapons between whether it's like a wartime weapon or like a sort of peacetime weapon i think for these um and it is sort of a bit of a guess that they would be used for both in a way like you can definitely imagine someone on horseback riding along like clobbering people you can definitely imagine someone with two of these running through ranks of people just clobbering people that could definitely happen in a wartime setting also for personal protection you know if you're carrying these around you know no one's really going to mess with you if you're protecting like caravans of money if you're doing like personal security also this looks quite a threatening weapon so it's quite a good practitioner to have on your team of security guards who's carrying something like this because it looks very menacing and also you know if someone's someone's getting in the way and you just give them a little tonk on the head that's gonna sort things out very quickly so yeah i i see a very versatile weapon could be used in all kinds of different settings settings and nowadays <clears throat> very good fun to train with in your chosen style of comfort. So just having a look at the dimensions I will put all of the dimensions on the website so you can go there and have a look if you want to know more about this particular melon, melon hammer. Now because of the head it's quite hard to get the exact length but you're looking around 70 centimeters or 28 inches. In terms of the head width it's going to be somewhere around seven inches you know 18 centimeters something like that for the uh the width of the head and just having a look at the weight each hammer weighs in about 1.1 1.2 kilos so it's a fair weight compared to a lot of martial arts weapons but again compared to what it would have been historically they're relatively light but it still gives you a really good workout training with these for a whole form you're going to get tired so at Enzo Martial Arts we pride ourselves on selling quite a wide range of pretty rare Kung Fu weapons. So as well as the melon hammers, we also have double ended spears, tiger hook swords, rope darts and the double meteor hammers, wind and fire wheels and the deer horn knives. But if you want to know the full range of everything we sell, check out the website, go to other Chinese weapons and the whole range of what we sell is on there. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the double melon hammers. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learned loads about the melon hammers we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!